Hey everyone, RSKOS here, and welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario The Origami King. Last time we started an investigation into the Earth's Elemental Temple after finding all the shell stones, and this time we head deeper in. Hmm. Always got a little narrower here. Nar narrower? 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 Wow, I just realized that's an, I can add that to the list of words that I know for sure 100% how to say it and yet still have trouble with. Shiny hammer, stronger hammer. We finally have a more powerful variant of a hammer. And unlike the jump, there's no quote unquote, I guess. Well, I guess there is technically an. Well. What I'm getting at is we haven't seen any, like, say, Iron Boots variant to the hammer. So I'm just going to equip this. It'll come in handy. It's a stronger hammer. That's going to be useful. Oh, boy. If you fall down, heads up, there are enemies. Although now I'm wondering if... Hmm. Now I'm wondering if there's any not bottomless holes down there. Also, dead end, right? Hmm. Yep, that one had a hole in it. I wonder if I can go the other way. Nope. Okay. Oh, there was a safe block over here. Ah, uh, well, I didn't know, but now I know. Could have ended the episode there last time. But, oh well. We got some coins out of that. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna save. In we go. If there's any not bottomless holes in that other area I didn't go to, we'll find out at a later date. First battle of the episode. Let's go. Even though it's like, you know, three or four minutes since the last battle for me from last episode. Yay. Uh, these are actually... Yeah. Nearly perfect lineup. There we go. Uh, let's see if the normal boots actually does enough damage. Boop. Well, I guess that was a bad test. Uh, we know the hammer works, though. Just a normal hammer will do it. Hammer! I'm starting to wonder if saying hammer like that in the... Uh, Mario Luigi Superstar Saga voice is actually giving me good luck. Did I mention I like Superstar Saga? I, if not, I like Superstar Saga. <laughs> Whoa, Mario, these traps are actually on fire. Please be careful, okay? If you get hurt, I hope you remember that you can press Y to use a healing item. That is true, and trust me, you might have to in this area. It seems like some small fires, so it doesn't look like it would hurt that much, but, uh... It's, it's painful. Don't, don't get touched by the fire. I know it sounds obvious, but, like, really don't let it touch you. It's actually pretty painful. Uh, we got some tiny bottom, or not bottomless holes over here. I don't really know why they're... Ow! I wasn't even in the fire game! Uh, I don't really know why those are called not bottomless holes, now that I think about it, but... Uh, 65%. Still working on it. Also, we're definitely going to be missing some of the question mark blocks and collectible treasures this first time, I feel. But, so be it. Uh, that was a good gap right there. Uh, this will work! Ah! Oh, ah! Ah! Thankfully, you can just kind of, you know, scum your way through it. And, you know, heal off of mushrooms. Not sure why they make it that easy, but, I mean, a hey, first dungeon... Oh, boy! Yeah, you can't jump. That's what I needed. Well, now we wait. Uh, how has y'all day been? Mine's been... Okay, I guess. Here we go. Yay, awkwardness over! We can ride this back here. And that takes us on around. Real talk, though. First time playing the game, I didn't actually realize that was a hole you could get into. And I literally just walked through the fire, took the damage, and healed. First dungeon, fairly easy, and another save point? Interesting place to put it! Uh, oh, shoot. <laughs> I was kind of hoping the game wouldn't let me walk off there, but nope, it totally let me walk off. Ow. Uh, 
There's definitely a time you're supposed to do that at. Oh boy. Yeah, this might explain the save point. Fill it in, fill it in, fill it in. Hurry up, fill it in, fill it in, fill it in. It's falling very slowly. Screw the coins, screw the coins. Hey, first game over. Yay. Uh, yeah, that's why they had the save point. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes it's easier to get a game over in this game out of battle than it is in battle. Uh, that was the gap, but I'm gonna... There we go. Let's squeeze the gap. I think I know what we need to do here, though. It's just been a while. First off, though, let's fill this in. What we need to do is fall between the gap. That was close. You're already pretty flat, but that thing would have really flattened you. Uh, but I should have known you'd figure out a way to get past it safely. Nice one. Got a ton of freaking coins here. I will walk off the cliff. <laughs> Fair enough. Doesn't matter because we get this. Max HP up heart plus 20. This is a permanent health upgrade. These hearts are scattered throughout the game. They do not always give 20, though. They are of various health increments. Don't, don't worry, though. They are on our list of things at 100%. It's a max HP up heart. Hooray! Incredible. What does it do? I mean, this is just a guess, but it looks like you have a bit more HP now, Mario. And is it just me, or do you look a bit stronger, too? Wow, those max HP up things or heart things are great. This is also true, to an extent. Max HP up hearts will increase your health and your base damage to over all weapons by a small amount, not much, like one or two hits. That, that's pretty much it. However, in this game, one or two extra points of damage could mean the difference between one-shotting an enemy. It could mean the difference between one-shotting an enemy or dealing just a small bit more damage to chip it off. With that, though, we made it up to the mouth. Olivia, do whatever you freaking want to, but leave me out of it. We made it. Okay, Velemental statue, we're heading in your mouth. I hope you brush your holy teeth. I only just got that pun. I hate it. Holy teeth. I hope you brush your holy teeth. I hate it. Moving on. I was kind of spending a save point, but oh well. Oh. Interesting. It's kind of eerie in here, but also kind of cool. The light rays. That's a hole. Wait, it's just a big empty hole? How disappointing. Where's the Earth Elemental? We've come so far to see you! Hold on, what's that? What are you looking at? Yeah, I bet it's nice to float, isn't it, Olivia? So, I'm not the best judge of footing, as we've just learned. Sorry, Mario, I'd teach you how to float if I could. Anyway, I was looking down at this odd green spot before you fell down. What do you think it is? It's the Earth Elemental, and it's made of origami? It's so cool! Oh no, I don't think it's very friendly right now. Maybe because it got all folded up. When it's like this, I'm afraid we might have no choice but to fight it. First boss fight! Can I just say, the Velementals look so freaking cool. Among other things, you're gonna hear me gush about their design. 
Wow, this elemental looks just as powerful as I hoped it would. That shell looks super sturdy. Its body must be well protected. Makes those little legs look kind of vulnerable, doesn't it? This is a very different type of battle system, as I'm sure y'all are quickly realizing. Oh hey, this is our first boss battle. I've been itching to try one of these. The Earth Elemental is in the center this time. Your attacks won't reach it from way out here. You'll have to get closer, but it looks like something weird has happened to the rings. And what's with those errors scattered uh, all over? Should we follow them? Let's give it a shot. If my hunch is right, we'll need to start with the start. Let's try to place one of the arrows on the space in front of you. Yeah. Looks like you can select and move the rings just like a regular battle. Select the outer ring so we can place the arrow under the red circle on your starting space. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. The elemental battles are simultaneously, or not, I mean the elemental battles, just the boss battles are simultaneously the best and worst parts of this game. You'll see what I mean later. Bingo, that's the ring. Now rotate it until the arrow is under the circle, and our first move will be in place. That's... Yeah, what? I was trying to, game. Oh, I must have accidentally hit the trigger. Bingo, that's... Yeah, yeah. Let's move that there. And... Yeah, my hunch is right. Okay, so once you step on an arrow, you'll keep moving in that direction until you step on another arrow. If we keep that in mind, we'll be able to create a path that puts us right in front of the Earth Elemental. Oh, the arrows are already leading us to the Earth Elemental. Hmm. I guess getting to the right spot is only half the job. What's next? Oh, that panel must be your way to attack. Try placing that action panel under the circle and see what happens. As you can tell, the boss fights basically boil down to find a way to get to the boss and then damage the boss. That's it. Now spin the ring and place the action panel under the circle. There we go. So now we are moving straight up to it. And now we can attack it. Way to go, Mario. You made it to the Earth Elemental. Now it's time to attack. Let's see. Different attacks are probably going to affect different areas. Try to aim your attack at an area where it won't bounce right off. There's a heads up, if you try and jump on this guy, you're going to hit the shell. However, the shell will not take much damage from pretty much anything, so your best bet is to hit him with a hammer. You could go at him with a shiny hammer, but you don't need to. The normal hammer will suffice for this. Let's... Hammer! It's exposed limb. Yes, you would have bounced right off that hard shell, but attacking its legs seemed to be very... pretty effective. Not very. I don't know why I read very. Now it's their turn to attack. Oh no, I think the Earth Elemental is winding up for an attack. Try to guard again at the right time. Press A just before the attack hits to guard. Ah, here it comes. Ah. The Iris Elemental will attack multiple times with that Rock Blasting attack. So you need to be prepared to guard multiple times. Phew, you took less damage. Good thing too, it looked like that it hurt even with the guarding. More often than not, boss fights or bosses will deal pretty hefty damage compared to normal enemies. Okay, what's next, what's next? Why not aim for its right front leg? Not where I would want to aim, Olivia, but sure. Just line up the arrows and place the, an action panel under the circle. Hmm. That outer ring probably goes over there, then the inner one, uh... I'm already lost. I'll leave this one up to you, Mario. As Olivia kinda hinted there, these battles can sometimes get very complex. There is one way to mitigate it, though, but we don't have it available to us right now. Uh, let's move that there. Hmm. Okay, let's move you there. Let's move that... Shoot! Uh, well, we'll have to show this off. If you're wondering, if you run, run across the times 2 panel, it will double your attack power for that turn. 
can be very powerful in boss fights. But, uh, we didn't hit an attack panel. Oh, nice try. Give it another shot. Wow, Olivia is being very, uh, gracious with this. Similar to the normal battles, you need to keep track of how many turns the game gives you. More often than not, it will give you a full three turns, but in situations like this, such as, you know, tutorial, it might give you less. As a general rule of thumb, though, don't worry. This is the exception to the rule, not the standard. More often than not, you'll have three moves to make, not two. Nicely done, Mario. Next, choose an attack. Let's hammer him into submission. Hammer! I'm really screwing that up. Never mind what I said before about the hammer sound effect being luck. Yeah, just like that. He is very... How is he standing like that? Ow. Ow! Good thing we got that health increase. This would have been pretty gnarly if we hadn't. Looks like you've gotten the hang of boss battles. Remember to think about timing and targeting your attacks. Those other panels look interesting too. You should see what happens when you walk over them. Now let's go win us a boss fight, Mario. Now I can get into the nitty gritty of this now that the tutorial is over. We can get hints from Olivia. This is one of the only time Olivia has good hints is during the boss fight. She is at her most useful now. That was not a very useful hint, though. Again, ex the exception, not the standard. Let's try and go through some of these tiles while, as we line up to... Hmm... Up to fight. That is not a good lineup. Something else we can do, though, is we can cheer. Don't really bother cheering too much unless you're hoping to get a health increase, though, as during boss fights, the Toads cannot damage the boss. What they can do is something slightly more useful. Ooh, check it out, Mario. The Toads just revealed all kinds of cool stuff. Wow, are those dots on the ground showing us where our current path will take us? Uh, what dots? I think the game is expecting there to be something there that isn't. And that triangle must be showing us where we'll end up. Go Toads! What Olivia was talking about is, if you pay the Toads money, you get to see where you'll end up, rather than having to try and just visualize it. I don't find myself doing this too much, but it can be useful on occasion. More often than not, though, you'll want to do that to get the Toads to heal you. Uh, hmm. Let's reset this entirely. Let's put that there. And put that there. And we do technically have another move. Actually, wait. Let's... Let's put that there instead. If you run across that heart, it will increase your health. If you run across this node, it will give us a hint. The Earth Elemental Shell is super sturdy. Jump attacks will always bounce right off of it. Aim for its exposed limbs instead. Get up close and personal with your hammer. This nest chest will reveal us two pa uh, tiles. That is more often than not what will be in a tre treasure chest like that. You'll either get tiles or it will reveal health and coins. The more often you hit that chest in a boss fight, though, the better the rewards will get. You'll always get some sort of tile unless they're all out on the field already. But if you keep running into the chest, you'll get better and better coins. In the meantime, let's hammer this guy. There we go. I will admit, if I have one complaint about this particular boss fight, it's a bit more scripted than I'd like it to be. More than awesome than not, you kind of have free reign over what you want to do in a boss fight, but this particular one, even though the tutorial is over, it is still a little bit restrictive. However, we can play around with things here. Let's go for this one. And... I don't want to use up the times two yet, so... There we go. Let's get the church chest again. Hitting that will give us an extra turn of attack. So we can hammer... And admittedly, 
the extra turn doesn't help too much. But we can hammer it again. See what happens. Hanna! Hanna! Yeah, it did a little bit of damage. Not much, though. Here we go. Sandblast! Ouch. Ouch. Hmm. We have two limbs left. It's head and it's tail. I suggest going for the head right now. Uh, we can put that there. And we can stick that there. I say let's go all in on the head. Shiny hammer. Especially with the times two. Hannah! I, that was just great. Well, well, it did a ton of damage even still. Ah! Eight damage. Oof. With that, though, he has changed his orientation, so we can more or less just line ourselves up to deal with him head on. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Let's move that there and move the chest right in the way. The times two. And normal hammer will do here. Han oh, shoot. Well, that worked. His tail is particularly vulnerable. Whoa, its tail must be super tender. Ow. Whoa, what's up with the earth elemental? Its legs are tucked inside. This might be our chance to try a cool move. We are almost dead. I kind of wonder if I can pick up some of this health on the way. Uh, oh! Is that... It is! It's a 1,000 folds arm magic circle. That is a mouthful. I'm just gonna call it a magic circle if that's okay with y'all. If you can get to that magic circle, I can activate the 1,000 fold arms. It probably works the same way as action panels. So try to place it at the end of your route. These will become very common in battles. But when they use them will be important. Right now though... I would say we have our time to use them. Uh, I'm gonna place this here. Also, it is important how close you are to the boss whenever you use the Thousand Fold Arms, or really any attack. The closer you can get it, the better, but that may not always be the best move. Uh, let's stick a bit more health in the way, since we're... Actually, no, let's stick some coins. I feel pretty confident about this. Plus, that's more or less a full heal. Just barely shy off. Thousand foot arms. With this, we can... Flip him! Now, Mario, give it all you've got! And smack the heck out of him! Whack, 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 and... That did him in. Fairly simple boss fight to start the game. Uh, to start us out with. They get way more complex, though. Again, they you will quickly find that boss fights are simultaneously the best and worst part of the game. It will make more sense later. Yes, you did it, Mario. First boss fight complete. Huh. Did it just shrink down into something tiny? You got the Earth Bibliophode. Did you somehow manage to turn the Earth Elemental into a book, Mario? Oh, it's instructions for folding into the Earth Elemental itself. Huh? Maybe this is its way of helping us. Let's see. Ah, yes. A mountain fold here, a valley fold there. Whoa! I just have this strange feeling, like the Earth Elemental is inside me. Ah, maybe we should try using that magic circle.
As cool as this is, Olivia, I've seen that Nintendo video on how to fold you. You do not have that much paper in you to unfold and then refold into that. I- no, shenanigans. You do not have that much paper, Olivia. How do I look? Powerful, imposing, magnificent, maybe even a little cute. It's like I'm the Earth Elemental. Clap, 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 clap. I definitely feel powerful. I could really... Bleh, like I could really shake things up in here. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna dance it out! Go Olivia, go Olivia. I'm not, I'm not saying that. This is, this is so ridiculous. I'm, I'm for it, but it's weird. <laughs> that being said, that lifted us up and revealed a pipe back there. And as a weird side effect, also reverted all the real dirt to paper dirt for some reason. What came over me? It was so fun to wield all of that turtle power. That is not a sentence I ever thought I would say. I guess I can use any magic circuit that belongs to the Earth Elemental now. Hey, that means I should be able to lower the tower back to a reasonable but still scary height. Hmm. Well, let's exit the pipe then, see where this takes us. It puts us out back at the entrance. Hey, did anyone ever teach you not to step on the gods? You step on our god, you get a divine punishment. Hey, I'm worshiping here. Oh boy. Oh, Earth Elemental, grant me wisdom, serenity, and a super sharp claws. I've always wanted some. Yeah, they get mad every time you step on it. This is still a cult, though. Yeah, 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 your god was real, but y'all are still a cult. <laughs> Moving on. Your, your god was real and really cool. This is still a scam, though. Y no. <sighs> I'm hoping that my fingernails will grow into glorious, formidable claws like the Earth of Elemental. Yeah, no, I'm leaving. You're cool, though. I'll keep knocking on the rock for good luck, but my luck's still on these rocks. I don't know why I gave him that weird-ass voice, but sure. I'm out of coins, so now I can't see the pretty lights anymore. Oh yeah, well, I mean, I can, I can help you there. Legend, I'm not reading this again. Yeah, 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 bring gifts and stuff. Well, that was accidental. Thanks, Mario. I can't get enough of those beautiful lights. Ah, uh, fire flower, yay. Let's head on out. With that, our business on Picnic Road is pretty much done. But there are a few things that we can do in this specific area. Also, apparently a new device is ready to assist you at the battle lab. So we need to go back and check on that relatively soon. We're, we're going to be going back up to the top of the mountain. So we might as well pop into Toad Town through the pipe again next time. On Paper Mario the Origami King, we will be doing a bit of running around here in this general vicinity. And possibly back to the battle lab just to see what they got. And then we're going to head up to Overlook Tower. Thank you all for watching. I've been Ars KOS, and I will see y'all next time. Take care. Bye!